What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Lake Ridden. This game released onto the Xbox One January 3rd, 2019 for a price of $12.99. I'm going to run you through this whole game and get you all the achievements. It should take about an hour. So let's get right into it and start a new game. When you were little, did you ever have dreams that felt so real you believed they were true? I mean, you probably did. But did any of them really happen? One did to me. A couple of months ago, someone sent me a letter. Someone I thought wasn't real. It all started two years ago, in October of 88. Alright, so here we go. This game is pretty much a walking sim. Sophia! We got some puzzles to do. Where are you? I'm gonna run most of this game. You push in the left thumbstick to run. You press A to interact with things. I'm not going to dilly-dally. I've seen a lot of other guys there walk around looking at sticks and rocks and reading every single thing and it takes so much longer. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. We're just going to rush through this game. It's going to be like a speed run of this game. And we're going to get all the achievements on the way. Um, there's nine puzzle boxes that we need to get. We get an achievement for each one that we open. Um, and they're all missable. So I'm going to show you where they all are and how to solve them. And then there's some other achievements that are all story related. So just follow along. I'm going to do a little bit of commentary here and there. Not that much because I'm just getting over being sick and I still don't have my voice totally. <laughs> but this uh, video w took a lot of time. It took a lot of work. I wanted to make a really good video that was actually uh, short because I've seen other walkthroughs. They're like three hours long and they're just wasting time. And I hate when walkthroughs waste time. There's no point of that. This game is a very short game. You can run through it in like 45 minutes. So that's why uh, it's kind of annoying that the other gods are like three hours. It's such a waste of time. So we're going to run through this. Just do the bare minimum. Solve all the puzzles. Right here to open this door, you do five, two, six, four. Normally, you would have to go in the cabin, open the locker, read the notes. But I already have all the answers. So we're just going to go through this quickly. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're not. And uh, enjoy the video. So we're just going to follow along the path. Right now, we're in the lower garden. This game is broken down by chapters. So for if any reason you miss anything, you can go back to chapter select. And uh, you can come back and get it. But if you follow this guide the whole time, you shouldn't miss anything. This game's kind of weird, too. Like halfway through... Um, the chapters like all the chapters unlock so like once you get like halfway through the game you can like uh, select the last chapter and go right to the end if you want to which is kind of weird all right once you get down here you're gonna go to the right to this little alcove over here and this is gonna be our first little puzzle now what you have to do is you click on the dial on the right and it plays it and then you have to just repeat it but I'm just gonna tell you the answers first we gotta do one three seven nine five like if it was a phone and if you do it right, you'll see it turn over a little dot on the boxes, the three little boxes at the top. So we have to do it again. The next one is uh, 43729. And then one more time, 461828. Now this isn't one of the puzzle boxes for the achievements. This is just something else. Inside of it has a tool. So we're gonna open it up and take that tool. It's a handle, so turn around. And then just follow the path to the left and we're going to reach a gate over here. Press X to open your inventory and take out that handle and then you can open the gate with it. Now just follow the path here to the left and then you're going to reach a cave that you need to go through. You're probably wondering why I squeeze through that tight crevice. But at the time, I just needed to get to my sister quickly. I realized that I've been looking for my sister for some time. For that funny, carefree girl who was always so sweet. So we're coming up to the end of the chapter here. And the puzzle box is actually in this area. There's also this stone puzzle we have to do over here. We have to pick up the stones and put them in these things. The stones are right here in front of you, right in front of this. Don't put it in this one yet. We're going to do that one last. We're going to go up these stairs here. We're going to do the puzzle box. You're going to go to the left. I found myself in the most follow the path. 
and then you're going to make a right at the end and follow it straight back. And back here on a bench is our first puzzle box. Now you're just going to press the same buttons as me. Basically, we have to turn them all over, make them dots, and then open it up, take the letter, and you're going to get your first puzzle box the achievement. Puzzle box gets. The lower garden didn't exist when I came to the estate. The carpenter said it would be impossible to use the sunken land. As you can see, I proved them wrong. You can back out whenever with B. And now if you turn around, you can see there's two different paths, right or left. We're going to go left. And just keep hugging to the left. And you'll see a path that goes up to the top. And there's one of those things here. And we're going to put our first stone in. You're going to do the one with the triangle. And now you're going to turn it to the right twice. If she says wow, you know you did it right. But she only says wow for the first one you do. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the middle. You know you did it right if it's glowing on here. Alright, now we're going to go across to the other side and do the next one. We got to go through these thorn bushes. Just follow the path. It's going to fork off left and right. Just go to the left side. The right side is a dead end right there. Just follow this around. And then back here is our next one that we need to put a stone in. Now it's going to be this one that looks like a saddle or something. I don't even know what it is. Put it in and now you're going to turn it to the left three times. And now let's head back to the middle area. You can check to make sure that it's glowing to make sure you did it right. And yes, we did. Now we're not going to do the middle one yet. Like I said, we're going to go in here. You have to crawl under. And then we have this gate that has a puzzle on it. There's a few of these puzzles throughout the game. This one's very easy. You're going to turn this ring a little bit to the right. And then you're going to turn the bottom ring a little bit to the left. And there we go. Now just follow the path up and we got another one of those stone things we got to put in. You're going to put in this one. And you're going to turn it once to the right. And now let's head out of here. Make sure when you get to the gate that you go left. If you go right, that's a dead end. We're going to crawl back out of here. And now we can do this last one over here. This is the circle. And it's uh, once to the right again. Now this little orb is going to come out of it and come into this thing. And then it's going to open up the branches ahead. Once it opens up, we can make our way through and we're going to get an achievement for finishing the lower gardens. And now we're in the next area, the upper gardens. Did you just come through there? It's another one of these puzzles. I'm looking for my this one's pretty easy. I'm just uh, line up the snake's Marie body that's going that's across the name. circle. Marie. And then you see his head with I the two her. eyes, put that towards the bottom. I think I better get Sometimes going. you have to make dialogue I'm options. Uh, that I'm one you could just girl. say that so that she can stop talking to her. Um, but the last thing we need to do is match the mouth of the snake. The so we'll just keep turning. You can see at the very bottom his head. This is not the right mouth. It's a smaller one. There it is. All right. Now we're going to get our next puzzle box right away. Right at the beginning of this chapter. You're going to go to the right. Go under this. 
And then there's a ladder that you need to climb up. And the puzzle box is right here on the floor. So just hit the same buttons and we'll open this one up. And once you click on the letter, you'll get the next achievement. Congratulations on finding the second puzzle box, kids. There are three things that a child needs. Food, books, and a treehouse. <laughs> Naturally. All right, we can back out of there and make our way back. Go under here again. We came in from the left. We're going to go the middle path here. Open up the gate. There's things on the side, just ignore them. We don't even need to bother with them. Just make your way up the main path all the way to the gate. Marie, the gate here is locked. Now you're gonna put in the code here, I which is five two seven. And you must solve three riddles. I put in the wrong code at first. <laughs> three riddles. The kids hit the numbers all around the garden. There we go. You didn't solve the riddles at all. Yeah, we don't have time for that. <laughs> Let's get up to the house. All right, in this box is the next puzzle oh, we need to do. Head. And it's uh, 73615. And then 167. 139. And then 281. Three seven four nine. Open it up, and inside is a knife. Now we're going to use the knife right over here. Just uh, open your inventory, take it out, and then we're going to take a plank. We need to use this plank so we can cross over the bridge. Just walk over to the bridge, and it will put it down by itself, and then you can walk across. And we're at the end of this chapter now. We're about to start the next one, which is Attic. We just have to get inside the house. We have another gate that we need to open up. I went the wrong way here. You're not supposed to go right. You gotta go the other way. There's the gate. And now let's open it up. This one, again, you have to just match the snake's bodies. If you look at the snake heads, the snake eyes, you should be able to uh, match where I am and easily replicate it. There we go. Now just go up the stairs and up the ladder, and then we can enter inside the house. to see from up here than I thought. All right, so here's the house. You should go up to the attic. There is something important. And we're going to go up there. the stairs oh, here. That's odd. I'll be up there in a minute. And then the bookcase here. You're going to press the first one 3 times, the second one once, third one once, and then the last one twice. And now we'll bring down the stairs to go to the attic. Now you're going to go through the dresser. You got to push this box, just push A on it, and just uh, keep pushing it till it moves all the way back here and out of the way so you can get past. And then do the same thing here, push this one so you can get through. And uh, we're going to get our next puzzle box here. Back here there's two more boxes, you need to pull them out of the way. And then we can get through here. And the next puzzle box is here on the bed. And of course, just press the same buttons that I do so we can uh, open this up. Now we can open it up, click 
click on the letter and get the next achievement. Congratulations on finding the third puzzle box, kids. Excuse the dust in the attic. I have explicitly forbidden every kind of cleaning up here since the servants broke one of my inventions. All right, we can back out and we can get out of this room. We need to pick this uh, thing up on the table, grab that, and then come over here. We have a puzzle to do. It's an easy one. We only have to hit four buttons. Press that one, this one right here, down here, and then this one. And now we'll open it up, and inside is a key, so grab that key. Take out the key and use it on the door right next to you. Now just follow this to the end. Back here on this table is a little ship, so grab that. Light up this candle and then use the cylinder and then put down the ship on this. And we're going to do a little puzzle here. You're going to move it left, up, right, up, up, left, up, up, left, 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 down, down, right, down, down, down. And that will open it up. And this little blue ball is going to roll out of it. And then you're just going to click on it. And you should get an achievement there. Now what we need to do is uh, follow this light. What's that light? Just walk to the end of the hallway. Now once we get out this door, you're going to walk the same path that I walk. We need to uh, find this thing out here. You need to uh, go to the right a little bit. What is this place? Sophia? Go in between these so trees. Marie, I can't hear you. I don't know what happened. I heard you calling out to me in the woods. But you can get lost out here, which is kind of annoying. You have to find this stone out here that we need to click on. But if you walk the same path as me, you should go right to it. And there it is. Once you get close to it, just click on it and then we can get out of here. She couldn't hear me even when I was shouting her name. I looked around, but I couldn't see her anywhere. But hearing her voice was comforting. I was on the right track. I thought that maybe the blue light was leading me to her. But it wasn't quite that simple. Hey, will you wake up? You've been sleeping all day. All right, we're back in the well, attic. We need to get out of here. So go down I the stairs. Found her, though. Did you find something Go down there? the next stairs. And we're going to get out of the house. I, found, um, uh, I don't know what it was. When I open it, Once I you go outside, go light. to the right. You must have knocked me out. I had the weirdest dream. A dream? I love dreams. What was it about? Now follow the path down to the town. And there was this blue the ghost light. had not put my mind at ease. But she gave me so this is uh, the little town area. There's a wagon right here in the middle. You want to kind of remember that as a good landmark. We're going to have to come back to that wagon and go the other way after. But make a left and then make a left here at the fork. And just follow this path all the way down. Down to the lake. And there's a house on the lake. And that's where our next puzzle box is. Not really a house, it's like a little fisherman shack or whatever. But uh, yeah, just open it up and right on the floor is our next puzzle box. So just hit the same buttons I do and we can open it up. Open it up, grab the letter, and we can get our next achievement. Congratulations on finding the fourth puzzle box, kids. The people at the estate might seem friendly, but some of them are not. Jack is one of those people. All right, we can back out, and we can make our way back to the town. Go back to that wagon I was talking about.
All right, here's our landmark wagon. We're going to pass by it. And then uh, after this building, make a left. And there's actually an elevator in the back here. We need to uh, fix these switches so we can use the elevator. The second one you're going to put halfway. The third one you're going to put down. I put it up on accident. Just put it down. And the fourth one goes down. The fifth one goes halfway. The sixth one goes up. And then it works. Now make a left over here and there's a house that we're going to go inside. Hey, anyone in there? We're going to go down into the cellar. You have a lantern, you can turn it on with Y. Now we need to pick up a couple things. There's a cup on the bed you're going to grab. Inside this box, we need to grab this uh, bottle. Above our heads, we need to grab one of each of these. We need to grab the mixer, and we need to grab these mushrooms. All right, now in this bowl, we need to put two mushrooms. One of each of these uh, plant things, the lavender and the nettle. Then the red bottle, and then we're gonna mix them. Then you're gonna use the cup on it. All right. Now, uh, we're going to take out our knife, and we're going to use it on this uh, floor tile and get the keys. Now, we're going to use the keys over here. Go underneath. On the back wall is a crank puzzle. We have to put in the right cogs and get this thing working. It's very easy. All right, after you have it set up, you're going to turn this wheel, and then we can get out of here. Just go back upstairs, and we're going to get out of this house, and we're going to go back on the elevator and go down. You're going to get an achievement once you leave the house for finishing the chapter. And just go straight to the elevator and hit the switch so we can go down. So we're actually going to go for the next puzzle box now. Which is in the school. You're going to make a right here. You'll see the wagon. You're going to make a left. We need to go towards the house a little bit. Who's Pearl? And over here to the left, you'll see this building. We're going to use the keys on the door so we can get inside. You're going to get a few dialogue options too. But in the back of this room on the floor is our next puzzle box. And once again, just put in the same buttons I do so we can open it up. Now open it up, grab the letter, and get the next achievement. Congratulations on finding the fifth puzzle box, kids. The foundations of science is study, examinations of facts, and heaps of tea. Now we can back right out and get out of here. Mr. Toffel we can head over to the laundry room. Head towards the wagon, and then you're going to hang a left. And uh, stick to the left at the fork. Perhaps I should wait outside. And right here is a door, she and this is the laundry that. room. You're gonna use the She's keys on the door dangerous. so we can open it up. Is she? Not unless you're building. She said one of those. And we're actually gonna get another puzzle box. Once we get inside here. 
If you go to the room to the right, we need to uh, climb down here, climb down the ladder. And inside this box is our next puzzle box. So once again, just hit the same buttons I do and we can open it up. And once it's open, grab the letter and we can get our next achievement. Congratulations on finding the sixth puzzle box, kids. You are brave to venture into these frightful lands. There lurks a monster in here. And once it's you're done, you can back out and we can climb out of here. Now we're going to go across the hall. The furnace is in this room. We need to uh, put some coal inside of it, put one big piece in, and then light it up. And now look at this meter here. We need to get this uh, dial on the green. So put in one big one and see how far it goes, and then just keep throwing in little ones until it's on the green. If you go past the green, it will shut off and uh, reset, and then you just got to relight it and do it again. Just uh, keep throwing in little ones and uh, keep your eye on the meter. Getting close. Couple more. There we go. Once you see the steam come out, come over here. If that wheel's turning, that means we're good. You're going to turn this valve twice got to drain the water all the way so turn it all the way to the right that's going to drain the water so we can get down here so just climb the ladder down there's a box down here you're going to grab it and you're going to put it in the corner as best as you can just put it over there that's good enough now we're going to climb back up and we're going to raise the water halfway So just turn the valve back to the middle, and that will raise it halfway. And now what we need to do is fall down onto that box, hit our bumper to crawl, and then just crawl and just fall off on top of it, and then we can crawl through this pipe here. All right, now what you want to do is... Uh, Go through this door, which is above where we came out of, up here. Make a left. Go to the end and go into this room, and we're going to get trapped in here by a ghost. Listen, I need to find my sister and... Now you're going to say, Nora told me that something happened. Nora told me that something happened. Is there anything I can do? And then the ghost will let you out. It's going to move the chair so we can go through this door. It's going to make you a path kind of to follow to get out of here. It's going to keep going all the way up. And we're going to get out of the laundry room. And now we're actually going to go back to the house. So just, uh, here's the wagon. You're going to make a right here. And you'll see the house in the back. We're going to make our way back inside. We need to get back up to the house. Are you sure it's not just another wild goose chase? Well, she usually doesn't like to play. But maybe she's come around to it. Why can't I come inside? Now just follow the path around here to the front of the house so we can go inside the doors. All right, now we're going to go upstairs. The master study is on the second floor. Let me know what you find. We're going to swing around here to the other side. Go back here. Make a right. This area is now open. And our next puzzle box is right here on the floor. 
So just press the same buttons as I do and we'll open it up. Once it's open, grab the letter and get the next achievement. Congratulations on finding the seventh puzzle box, kids. Every great inventor needs at least We have seven out of the nine puzzle invent. boxes, so we only have two left to get. And we're actually going to get another one very soon. So walk over to this corner, and this uh, bookcase will start moving out of the way. And it will show our new path to go in. So crawl your way through and open up this trap door, which will bring us to the basement. Now over here is uh, two levers. You're going to hit this one on the left, which will lift that up. Now we have this gun over here. You put a bottle in it and then you can shoot it doesn't work yet because the first time you use it it breaks and we need to get a new spring uh, before we do that we're gonna go get the next puzzle box which is down here on the floor so just come around here and put in the same buttons as I do so we can open it up Once it's open, grab the letter and get the next achievement. Congratulations on finding the eighth puzzle box, kids. The basement used to be a distillery, but now it has a much more important purpose. This cannon is my latest invention. All right, now we can back out and we're going to head back up. Now, once you go up this ramp, go straight ahead. And there's another one of these uh, puzzles to open up. This one's a little harder. But once again, just look at the snake eyes and faces and you should be able to match it. You can see there's a snake head on the left and also there's two on the bottom. It's not too bad. Once you open it up, we're going to go inside. And there's going to be one of these uh, puzzles again, which we need to open up to get the next tool. This is the last one of these types of puzzles. So for the first one, we have to do three, four, eight, three, two. Next is uh, 724 981. And then 614 92 76. Open it up, and inside is a screwdriver. Now we can get out of here. And we're going to get a new spring so we can fix and use the bottle cannon. Now to get the spring is actually on this box up here. You can use those levers and bring the box back if you want. But also you can uh, jump up here. You jump with L bumper. If you jump and then you can actually jump up here and use your screwdriver on it. And you'll be able to get the spring. The right way to do it is to go up the ladder and then you got to hit those valves. And you bring the box back and it will be like up there. And then you can do it when it's like right next to you. But it's pretty easy to uh, jump up there. You just have to make sure you're holding a screwdriver and just hit A on it. And you'll get the new spring. And then you're going to use the new spring on here to fix the cannon. And then we're going to start shooting bottles up here and knocking these boxes off. There's another one of those blue uh, balls up here. We need to knock that blue thing off as well. So once the boxes are out of the way, then we can knock it off. So close. There we go. Now I had it happen a couple times that once I clicked on this blue thing, the game crashed. It happened on a couple different playthroughs. It might happen to you as well. If it does, it's really not a big deal. Just start the game back up and just hit continue and you'll be right back where you were with the bottle and you just have to shoot down the blue thing again. Once it already crashes once and you restart your game, it shouldn't crash again. So just go down here and uh, click on the ball again. You're going to get an achievement here for uh, repairing that bottle cannon. And now we're in a hallway again with the light. So just follow it.
I'm gonna go back outside. Now this time you just have to follow the blue light and it's gonna lead you to these chests and then just open them up. You have to be quiet. There's something else here. It's whispering to me, but I can't hear what it's saying. It's calling to me, trying to drag me in. Get me out of here, Marie. Now after you open up a few chests, it's going to lead you to a stone. Now once you get to it, click on it and we're going to have to draw a pattern on it. We're going to connect the dots to make a U shape. You can see the blue lights next to you telling you what pattern to make. Something followed me that night through the strange forest. The dark creature was nothing like the blue gentle spirit who again helped me get back. I wondered if I had just seen the face of whatever trapped me and Sis in there. Marie! Alright, now we're back so we can get out of here. Sleeping all day so just head up here. Go to the left, climb up the ladder. Listen, I really You're going to have some dialogue today. options that don't matter, so just pick whatever. Sure we'll find go to the right here and us. then go right. You'll see another ladder to she climb up. Meet us outside under the balcony. Time for another adventure. Wait, shouldn't we? Now we're back in the house, so let's just go outside. Now we're actually going to go to a new place now. We're going to go to the island. So once you get out of the house, we're going to actually go left. Why would she be out there? What thing? Marie, we're going to get something. Something important. I'm going to look for Sophia myself. Over here is a Come gate, on, so Marie. just open up this gate. Let's just pop and we're just going to follow this path all the way down to the island. For her. It'll be exciting. We need to get down to the lake. There's a path over there by the trees. There's only one way to go over here, so just keep following the path. There's a couple ladders you gotta climb down. Now just keep making your way across to the other side. There you are. You just need to go out to the island. Pearl says that I should thank you for helping her. But she's not thanking me, even though I'm basically running the whole operation. I am too. It's just that you haven't told us what we're after or how to get it. All right, up here we need to do a puzzle. We're gonna have to come back here and do another puzzle after. Why are we out here? There's uh, some bones in the middle, grab those. We need to put them around here. The first one we're gonna we put down is uh, this one with the three bones. Then next to it, we're gonna put uh, one with all the sticks, like the Blair Witch. Then this one, we're gonna put the circle with the bone. This one is the cross. And then the last one is the bones with the teeth or whatever. Now if you put them in all right, they're going to turn red. Now we have to spin them in an order. We're going to do this one first. Then we're going to do the three bones next. Then the cross. Then the Blair Witch one. And then the circle. 
if you did it right, then they're going to disappear. And we uh, finished that puzzle. The typewriter tube is going to get dropped off here. And uh, we're going to get an achievement for solving that puzzle. That's very exciting. Pearl, what do we do with the tube? Hey, now it's going to float all the way back to the town. At least telling us what it is. Right by the laundry room. So we need to go all the way back. Pearl said she'll meet us back at Jack's cabin. The one next to the laundry. There's apparently someone we need to meet. I wonder who it could be. Someone looking for a tube, I bet. Now we're back at the house. We're gonna just keep going straight and go down to the town. Here's the landmark wagon. We're going to make a left here. Now at the fork here, we're going to stay to the right. And there's going to be stairs here. You want to go up these stairs and inside. To the left is the typewriter. There's the tube. So you're going to pick up the tube and put it into the typewriter. And then click on it. What am I supposed to do here? The ghost is going to talk to you through uh, typing. Pick can you help me or not? Can you help me find her or not? I think she's in trouble. Okay, but promise you'll help me? What do you need me to do? All right, so we need to go to the house. We need to just uh, go into this room real quick. And then we can uh, come right back here to the typewriter. Alright, inside the house, we're going to go upstairs. We're going 
gonna swing around here, make a right. Now over here where the basement is, we're gonna actually shut this trap door and behind it is another door. So open it up. Now all you need to do is walk in this room and then we can leave. The information we need is inside that box, um, but we don't need it because I already have the answers. So as long as we go in that room, we can go right back to the typewriter and we can give them the correct information and then we can proceed. Here's the fork, make a right, go up the steps, and uh, click back on the typewriter. Now we have to answer some questions correctly. So what was stolen? The ring. A ring. Who did it? Anar. Anar. And where is it now? It's outside the estate. Outside the estate. So we actually have to go get the ring now. We have to make our way back to the island where we did the bone puzzle. We have to do another puzzle there now. And also we can get our last puzzle box over there now because we're going to get a key. Alright, so now we have to go back to the island. We have to make our way all the way back over there. So head back up. There's the wagon. Make a right. Go towards the house. If you want to do it a quick way, you can actually uh, quit out of the game and go to chapter select. And you can actually click back to island. And it will bring you right there and you should have the key on you. If you want to uh, save some time. But just in case they uh, fix the chapter select thing. I'm gonna walk there anyway. So, just follow me. We're gonna head all the way back to the island and we're gonna do the next puzzle. All right, here we are back at the island. All right, first thing we need to do is uh, go to the right over here. There's a little shack. Inside of it is our last puzzle box right up here. So click on it, hit the same buttons as I do so we can open it up.
Once it's open, grab the letter and we can get the last puzzle box achievement. Congratulations on finding the ninth puzzle box, kids. Since you like Jack's door so much, here is an even better one by me. There once was a man living on a big estate. He was a great man and did great things. Alright, now we can back out. We only have two achievements left. We have to finish this puzzle, which is right here, to get an achievement. And then we just need to complete the game. In this box here, we're going to use the key and open it up. And we're going to get the stuff we need for the next puzzle. Go to the middle here. And we're going to put down this piece right here, the lantern. And then you're going to light it up. Then you actually need to turn it. Turn it until it's over the circle with the cross in it. And then it's going to be aiming this way. Now we need uh, to set up these things a certain way. Which I'll show you exactly how to do. So this lantern shoots it out to this one. And then this one's going to shoot it straight across this way. This one is going to bounce it over here. And we'll put another one in here and this one's going to bounce it across the way to this one. And this one is going to send it to the last one. And then this one will go right to the end spot. And now we can open it up and take out this puzzle. We got another wheel puzzle. This one's a little annoying, but it's not too bad. A good way you can tell here is um, it has this blue and gray area, which I'll show you in a second once I match it up. All right, here it is. Now you'll see it has blue on the left and gray on the right. See the blue, gray. And now at the bottom, you're just gonna turn it and you're gonna look for this little thing right here. That's an easy way to find what you need. It will open up and we're gonna get the ring and we'll get an achievement for that. And now we're gonna make our way back to the typewriter to give him the ring. And then all we need to do is finish the game. sure why it was so important to Jack, but I just hoped he would be able to help me after all of that. Aynor, that old man sure was imaginative. I'm not sure that his light contraption would have worked as a lighthouse. Here's the landmark wagon, here's the fork in the road, we're going to go right, and here's the stairs. Now click on the typewriter,
Select I better get going so we can end this conversation. I better get going. All right, now we can back out and we need to head over to the laundry room. We need to go over by the furnace area. So go back a little bit to where the fork starts and we're going to go to the left of the fork. And then we got the door right here, the laundry room. Now we're going to head over to uh, the room that has the furnace in it, which is on the left here. Now straight here on the back wall is a pipe puzzle, which we're going to do so we can drain the well. Use your screwdriver on it, and then we could start putting this puzzle together. Pick up the pipe with A, and then you can rotate it with X. And just place them down exactly how I do. All right, there we go. Now you're going to back out and you're going to hit this valve over here and that will drain the well. So now we need to head over to the well. We're going to go back to the middle of the town. So right up here we have the wagon and then right over here we have this open barn. This is where the well is. There's a ladder here, so take the ladder down. Click on the ground. What happened here? Nora, are you there? Marie, what are you doing down there? Say something must have happened. Something must have happened. Why else would Jack and Pearl have me go down here? We didn't plan for it to happen. Pick, do you know what? Do you know what I'm supposed to find? There must be something down here. A tear's gonna open up down here. And then just click on it. Alright, so now we're at the end of the game. Climb out of the well. There's a spirit floating around. Now you just want to stay by them. Just follow them. You're going to have to open up the gate a couple times. They're going to bring us to these rock puzzles. We have to do three of them, and then we'll be done with this game. Over here on this rock is a lantern. Go and pick that up. Just keep following the spirit. All right, so we're at our first puzzle here. They're very easy. We just need to draw a pattern on one of the rocks. We gotta do it on this one here, the first one. And you're gonna do exactly what I do. You make kind of a V and go to this one down here, right here, then up. And there we go, the first one's done. There you are, Marie. Is that you, Miss Nelly? You're not at all like I remember. Alright, now it's gonna lead us to the next one. I thought having a drink of the potion would have been enough to bring you here. But it's 
never that easy, is it? There needed to be two people to form the link back. I was surprised to find you, Marie. But now, you and your sister will help me. Miss Nelly, you were quite clever binding those awful spirits into the seals. When did you realize someone is... Alright, here we go. The next set of rocks. We're going to do the second one over here. And just do the same pattern as I do. Poor Jack was the only one you told about the tear. And you locked a part of him There we go. Basically, it gives you a pattern, and then you have to find the right stone to draw it on. Now we just have to do one more, so just follow the spirit. Here's the next set of stones, and this one is all the way to the right. And then just do this pattern. And there we go. What are you doing? No! And there we go, that's the end of the game, and we're gonna get our last achievement here for completing the game. Was the true hero of the story, not me. Me and sis woke up outside the big house. I looked around, but I couldn't find either Pearl or Jack. Even his typewriter was missing. Sophia was still in shock from the night before. As we started walking towards the camping site, I couldn't believe I finally got her back. And that's it guys, the full game walkthrough to get you all the achievements. I hope this helped you, leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. Hey.